zip tie was invented in 1958 and since that time it has become a really convenient way to organize and to repair and do a lot of different things and they also come in a lot of different sizes shapes a lot of different lengths widths colors there's just so much you can do with zip ties there's a lot out there so what I want to do is do 15 different uses for zip ties in an SHTF situation or a survival situation and why I think it's extremely important which a lot of you guys do I know I see them a lot of times in bug out bags having a few zip ties and maybe this will give you some ideas that you can utilize with your zip ties before SHTF but definitely during one of the number one uses that most people use is to keep cords together whether it's behind a computer or like this this is a little camera cable cord I just go ahead and lock it up and it keeps it very organized I can hang it however I want to and obviously with even bigger cords helps you to secure it and organize it of course another way is to restrain someone with feet or hands now I have some larger wider zip ties for this I just couldn't get my hands on them this is definitely going to keep you busy for a while also go on YouTube there's a lot of videos on how to get out of these and I may need it with all the pals or molly webbing that you have being able to take a zip tie like this little flashlight sheath I can't attach it so I put it right on the outside of my gear that way I can get to it quickly if I need to it's not necessarily packed away really for items that you use a lot or you want to keep handy it really does work it really well and there's no way to really attach this otherwise And it's good and secure on your pack. Now radios are notorious for coming off packs. They have this little clip. It just doesn't hold. Even if you use the clip. You can pack this down. Get your little carabiner or your D-ring, D-lock. Get it really tight on there. That's going to hold. Much better on your pack. Here it's not going to slide off. Now typically if you have small clips and you try to use those for molly, they can work for a little while, but they can easily come loose. Here you've got it secured, it's not going to go anywhere, and yet if you need to get to it, clip it off, use it, put it right back on. If you're packing your bag and you have some loose articles like this t-shirt or different things, pants, take a zip tie and you can really get it compressed down. This is going to get it really tight and you can really cinch it down. Obviously with this length we could have even folded it over and made a little ball but you get the idea. A lot of different bags and packs have the zipper locks where you can actually take a small padlock or here a zip tie secure it down that's going to keep anybody from just coming around and messing with your gear without you knowing no they can take the whole bag but this definitely will slow them down but even if you don't have the small locks you can either take pulls or your grab handle like this just gives you some security again even this old magazine pouch maybe you need to carry it by hand you can either use this loop or the belt loops give yourself a handle be able to carry it that way and of course that applies to a lot of other situations another really cool trick especially with Spyderco is to take a small zip tie just secure it get it pretty tight of course you want to trim off the edge now once this is in place you can move this either side according to which pocket you're going to wear it in how you carry your knife and I'm going to demonstrate how this will open your knife really quickly slip it down into my pocket then when you draw it it'll actually deploy the blade when you place the knife in the pocket make sure that the little nub here the little lock on the zip tie is on the side of your clip so as I pull the blade out it deploys automatically and the more you practice the better it gets the first time I saw this was Crockett 20. He had one on a knife, and this was when I was out uh, with nothing fancy at the All-Star shoot. And Crockett met us for dinner, and he was demonstrating this in the parking lot. And this is just an ingenious little uh, way to use a zip tie. If you have a cut or wound, you can use the zip tie 
to be able to hold this secure. This will hold into place until you can get medical attention, but it'll also add pressure to the wound with the bandage. Now with the splint set up, use two twist ties together to make a length if you need to, and of course you can add as many as you uh, need to get the length. Cinch these down. And you got yourself a makeshift splint. Now some say that zip ties can be used as a tourniquet but all the medical professionals I've talked to have said no go. This is too thin. You need something wider to be able to really get a hold of that and stop the blood. Now if you have a tarp and you have eyelets, you can run it through the eyelets to make a makeshift shelter. Tighten it down and that's really going to hold it secure and then you can bring out your other one. Now if you have gear that breaks, especially straps, you can run your zip tie through the buckle, get it started, and you're going to be able to get home or complete the mission. These can also be used as a snare. Now, how that works, you got me. But if you can catch something in this, you're doing good. By the way, if you know how, leave it in the comments below. Also taking zip ties, especially if you're going to be out in the woods, using this as a gator. This keeps all the critters out. Of course, hanging things is definitely a big plus. Being able to secure it, hang it, especially with chickens around, they'll knock this thing down. Really secure. Here for the coop, I just have the door secured with the zip tie and it's been that way for a long time. So it holds up well. Hello, ladies. You can repair fencing with it and obviously chicken wire. This will hold into place until I can do a better repair or with the plastic, it's not going to go anywhere. Here on this lawnmower, these brackets have become loose, whatever was holding it before. You can take, pull this together, tidy it up, keeps it from breaking. Another use for zip ties is to mark trails, especially the multicolored type. That will really help you to know where you're going especially if you're backtracking yourself and you find a zip tie of a certain color. Dude, I feel like we've been here before. Oh, we have been. Trail marker. In winter months, you can also put zip ties on your wheels and this is gonna give you some traction in ice and snow. Now the zip tie works by this little locking system inside this head and it secures itself to the ridges on the zip tie. And so as the piece goes in, you can hear the clicking. And this secures it into place. Now, to reuse your zip tie, right here, if you can pull that little locking piece down, either with a fingernail, or in my case, just a small screwdriver, get up under the little lock, and then you can pull the zip tie loose. Now, one thing I will warn you about is sometimes you can put too much pressure on this lock and it disables the zip tie. But here, we still have a good, secure fit. If you've used a zip tie, instead of cutting it right here in the middle, try cutting it right next to where the lock is. Pull your piece out and you can reuse the leftover section. Now typically when you cut a uh, zip tie to trim it, you're going to have a sharp little piece there and that can cut you if you're not careful. But here's a little trick to keep it from doing that. Take a pair of pliers and just twist that off. And that makes it a lot smoother edge right there. In fact, there's no edge. It's been pushed through. And I saw that on Wrangler Star, so kudos to Wrangler Star. Another little trick is to take a length of paracord, about a foot long, slip it through your uh, zip tie. And then just start pulling back and forth. It'll snap the zip tie. You still have your paracord. If you only have one size zip tie, of course you can cut these down however you want to, but you can extend the length just by adding these zip ties together. And so however many zip ties you have, you can definitely extend this out into a, even like a rope or something like that and it holds really secure. Of course there's a million other uses for zip ties, but hopefully this will get you started thinking about taking regular household items that you can use for a multitude of purposes. Uh, especially when supplies are limited. Zip ties, a great item to stock up for your preps. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
Now I'm ready to rock.